Hello and welcome back to another video. I'm back in this large flower bed again. Thankfully, my plants got delivered. They're all looking pretty good. So I've got the Carex Ice Dance and the Prairie Fire, the same ones as over there. And then I've also got myself the hookerers, which are gonna go in the pots. So to start this video, I'm just gonna plant the grasses down this little end here. And then when they're planted, I'm gonna go and tidy out these pots, fill it up with compost. And then once they're filled up with compost, plant the hookerers in there. And then this bit will be done for the time being. I do need to also give the area a big tidy because look at the state of it. But yeah, I gotta do some planting. Quickly, just before I plant them, if you're wondering why there's such a size difference in the plants, there was a plant sale going on. So these ice dances were like three quid, and then these little ones were a quid. And I could have bought bigger ones, like the ones that I've got in the rose planters, but it just would have been so much more expensive. Didn't really make sense, and they're just gonna grow anyway, so. see just how waterlogged these plants are and that's because when they turned up they turned up at night and I had to leave them out in the rain and they've just become super waterlogged And there we go, they're all in. So now it's time to focus on these pots. So I'm gonna do the little pot first, it's just gonna be easy, tip it out, fill it up with compost. I'll probably plant one or two in that one, and then in the bigger pot. That is gonna be a nightmare because I can barely even move it. So I'm gonna to have to work out a way to empty it. There's a real thick root ball in there. Oh, that was a bit of a nightmare. So I've got the pots cleared out. I actually left half of the dirt in this big pot because it's got a nice mix of rubble in there. It's got a few bits of polystyrene. I don't know why they're in here, but there's quite a nice amount of rubble in there, which is going to be good for drainage. But yeah, I just got to get some compost now. So I'm going to go and drop this all off at the heap, come back with a barrel load of compost. I've returned with my compost. I think I say this in every video, but if you haven't seen my compost heap video, check it out. I've got so much compost here. Let's get these pots finished. So I got the hookerers in. They look really bare in this planter. The other planter is looking loads better, or pot should I say. So this is hookerer frilly and hookerer Georgia plum. And then the other one, I've got one frilly, one Georgia plum, and then one I think is called boysenberry. But yeah, it's a nice wet day today, so they're gonna water in nicely, just naturally. Now I'm just gonna clean the area up, tidy it all. In typical fashion, it has just started to rain, but there you go, that's the finished flower bed. 
like I said in the first video the plan is to put a big gazebo up in this little green space here and then eventually that will block off this anyway yeah I'm really happy with it let me know what you think of it down in the comments if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe and have a nice day